zones. Everyone has been to at least one, whether it be Elwyn Forest or Dark Moon Island or Silithus or the Badlands, we've all experienced probably more than one, I'd say, many, many zones. Some we hate, others we hate even more, and some we even love, which other people just say they hate. And of course, I have my favorites, so today we're going to count down the five best zones in WoW, and of course, this is all my opinion. Number five, Tears Fall Glades. Tears Fall Glades is ominous. It's creepy and makes me feel uneasy. The overabundance of green actually works really well with the uh, presence of death. It has this really nice purple and green vibe going, the, the basically the whole zone, and it really makes for some creepy places. And every time I think of old versions of WoW, I remember this one image of the mills up on top of that one cliff. I'll see if I can find it, so you know what I'm talking about, but... Number four, Oldham. Oldham has the best take on Egyptian culture I've seen in games. I love the overwhelming uh, amount of Titan stuff that fits really well within the tales of ancient Egypt. The Harrison Ford stuff was also great, well, probably one of the best references in WoW and quest lines as, as well. I also have fond memories of Oldham. Uh, I remember leveling my Death Knight way back when Cataclysm first came out, and I got to stay home from school that day because for the first time in, like, probably ever, <laughs> my city got snow, and that was insane. There was white stuff all over the ground, and that was probably the first time I ever experienced snow, but it was too cold outside, so I stayed in and played WoW. Number three, classic Dark Shore. When it comes to the feeling of loneliness, old Dark Shore has it by the balls. <laughs> uh, it was eerie and pretty spooky. Uh, I always felt lonely when trying to quest there, even when just standing in Auburndean. You look out over these like hazy woods and see nothing but trees and know that if you walk in there, you're probably going to die to some like Night Stalker or something, and that was pretty surreal. About every one of my characters did Dark Shore just for the experience of it. Number two, Howling Fjord and Grizzly Hills. I can't decide which one to go here, I'll be honest, so I like them both so much that they're both getting put at number two. Howling Fjord felt peaceful but cold. Uh, the boat ride in from Stormwind is still my favorite one in the entire game. You have that hanging boat above you, the, the winding cliffs, you got Vrykul buildings and all this all around you just chilling. Uh, and then and then you have like a cave you like go through and the boat turns inside the cave and the environment was like the best the green the uh, dark green and gray trees really fit the entire zone and made it really nice looking I can also say the same for Grizzly Hills the whole experience of it was amazing you had the introduction of Bud and the crew you got uh, gray and stout man we got to actually see him for the first time since Westfall uh, Harrison Jones is still there chilling somewhere and let's not forget that which can be said for both zones the music is some of the best in the game number one Dunmoreau come on come on you know me you probably watched my previous top five maybe hopefully you have you know I have a bias for gnomes of course Dunmoreau is number one it's got gnomes it's got dwarves, it's got the best music in WoW, and the old blizzards back way, way back during vanilla were insane. The zone really honed in on the aspects of winter. Like Darkshore, it was quiet and eerie. Uh, I never wanted to leave Cold Ridge, but then I did, and I walked the best path, the best walk ever to the next town. And when I got to Karanos, I didn't want to leave there. I was afraid of a Wendigo coming out of the woodworks and murdering me. Even today, post-Cataclysm, Dunmoreau feels probably about the exact same. The zone's never changed, and that's what makes it really great. And that's my list. Hopefully you agree with at least one of my choices. Uh, WoW has a lot of good zones, a lot of great zones, and it's honestly hard to choose between all of them. If you agreed or disagreed with my list, let me know in the comments down below, and I will be sure to read them. Thanks for watching.